Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. My name is Ernesto Llerena Montejano. I'm an artist, uh, at times an activist, and storyteller. Growing up in El Centro was a big influence on me, especially because I'm so close to the border. And um, the majority of my family uh, and, and my social time growing up was a Mexicali. The older I started getting, I started understanding, you know, this is the border and certain people have the privilege to cross it, so other people don't. And that's kind of what started fueling me to become like, politicized. In about 2006, my friend Shepard, uh, who's now my friend, uh, he was doing a lecture in Santa Monica. I was 18 and I was going to school in San Diego and I came up to show him some of my, just to see him speak and to show him some of my work and I asked him for an internship and he was like, yeah. I learned a lot of stuff, how to, how to cut rubies. Um, I learned things that you'll never learn in college with him and then also the way that he handles being, you know, doing political work, doing commerce, like commercial work. He does that really well, you know. For me, the big difference for me in my experience has been like to juggle the, the commerce side, the art, and then the cultural elements of it, and then the, the things that I have to face in my community because it's just different. Like for me, as a political artist, I have a different accountability in my, in my community. The thing about Red Bull is, I think if you are part of good culture and you're, you're promoting good culture and funding good culture, that I'm gonna be down with you, you know? Because usually it's other people from other cultures that are taking our stuff and then they're putting it up. And I think that I, I always question myself when I do it because I thought about this project a lot of times about maybe not doing it or maybe doing something else. Or, but then I'm like, if I don't do it, you know, some, someone that didn't grow up in this culture is going to do it and they, they're not going to they're not going to have one like no qualms about it, you know. And now I'm like, I got to take him because I just I got to like you know, bills and stuff to pay. And before I didn't care, I didn't care, but now it's, things have gotten a little more serious where I have to care, you know? But the thing is, my work is so encrypted, everything, I mean, that piece, that, there's other, there's a piece in there that's about colonization that's really in your face, but as far as this piece, it's like a Chicano skull, you know? And, and so, in the forehead, I put a, I put a cockroach and it has a fist in it, like the, like a, a people power fist. And uh, the cockroach is, is actually a reference to this book by uh, Oscar Zeta Acosta. He was taking back the term cockroach because I was used to, you know, it was a racial slur for, for Rasa back in the days. He took it and then he turned it into like, a, not as much as an empowerment, more and more about like rebellion, you know. That goal was to remind people that like Mexicans and Mexican Americans and South, uh, South Americans, Central Americans were indigenous to here, you know. And so it's always Western society trying to tell us who's indigenous and who's not, or who's coming from whose roots. I mean, we're all we're mixed people, but we we our indigenous roots are always denied. I had a conversation a while back that I, my my artwork used to be a lot more in your face, super political, and like. You know, a lot of times it would start arguments or, to, or people wouldn't want to include me in things. So switching, coming from that background and, and going back, it's always a little tricky, but it's, um, I think I've got it uh, pretty, I got it figured out a little bit better now, you know.